everyone, I'm Veronica and in today's video I will show you how to make a wedding slideshow in Filmora just like this one. Your wedding slideshow you will need the beautiful memories pack which you can download from the film stock website and there will be a link to it in the description below so now let's jump into the wonder chef for more video editor as you can see i have my project fully put together on the timeline so in this video i'll be going over on how you can add the titles elements overlays and transitions from the beautiful memories pack into your video let's start with the title i'm going to mute the music so that it doesn't get in the way of me talking and we're going to start with the title at the beginning of the video which is this intro type title so let's jump into the titles tab and scroll down into the beautiful memories pack the pack comes with eight different titles and if you want to preview the animations you can simply double click on the thumbnails and you'll get a preview on the right and once you're happy with your choice you can click back on your timeline and that will take you back to your project so i'm going to delete this title by pressing delete on my keyboard so we can make it again to add the title you simply have to click and drag it onto your timeline into your desired location each title comes with preset text so in order to customize it you have to double click on the title on the timeline and change the title right here so I'm going to change the main text to say Aaron and Vera and you can also change the text underneath by clicking on it on the preview so I'm going to change this to my wedding date and if there is any text on the title that you don't need you can simply select it and delete it from its text box and it will disappear you can of course also change the font of your text and customize the color line spacing for the placement of the photos you can either directly drag them onto your timeline or you can go into split screen which I'm using in this video and basically use these as a collages to place your photos into so using split screens is very quick and simple you simply have to drag one into your timeline and you'll have this window open out automatically and if it doesn't all you have to do is just double click on your split screen and from here you can drag images into the split screen and you can also double click on them to control the size and the placement of the image within the frame. You can also add some keyframes to your photos just to add a little bit more movement to them. So to add these keyframes, once you have your photo on the timeline, you have to double click on it and head into the animation tab and then click on customize. Now you have to move your timeline cursor to the point where you want your photo to start moving. So in my case, it's at the beginning of the clip and you have to click on add. And this adds a keyframe at the beginning of your video. Now you have to select a starting point for your photos. So in this case, I'm going to be zooming into the photo. So I'm going to start off with the image, just touching the edges so that we don't have any black lines on the sides. And I'm also going to position it a little bit higher in the frame now you have to move your timeline cursor to the point where you want your motion to stop so in this case it'll be at the end of the clip and click on add again and now select an end point to your animation so for me this photo will be a little bit more zoomed in and now when we play it back this will create a slow zoom in effect it doesn't always have to be zoom in you can also pan on your photos and get creative with your motions Next, I'll show you how to place the elements. So in my video, I'm using these two elements. So for the demonstration, let's get rid of them and head over into the elements tab and go down to the beautiful memories elements. In this pack, you have six different elements and same as before, you can double click on the previews to get a playback of the animation and you can click and drag them onto your timeline. You can then use the sides to adjust the length of your elements to match the length of your video clip underneath or your photo. And you can double click on the element in the timeline to change its position either by going to the transform tab where you can rotate it and scale it down 
or you can do it directly on the preview which I find is a little bit easier. So you can use the box around the element to scale it down and use this dot right here to rotate it. And if you want to add more than one element, you simply need to click and drag another one on top of the previous element and stack them. And same as before, you can use the preview to position it within your frame. Now let's see how to add overlays to your video. In my video I have two overlays which is this butterfly overlay and this leafy overlay at the end. So for the demonstration I'm going to get rid of this one right here. So you'll find the overlays in the effects tab and you can click and drag them into your timeline and use the size to adjust the length. You can't really customize the overlays beyond turning down their opacity. And finally, let's have a look at the transitions. So in this video, I have quite a few. So as an example, we'll use these butterflies on this picture right here. So adding transitions is very simple. Let's go into the transitions tab. In the beautiful memories pack, you get three different transitions. So I'm going to delete the transitions I already have on my timeline by pressing delete on the keyboard. And to add the transitions in, you simply have to click and drag them in between the clips. And let's zoom in. A little bit so now you can use the sides of the transition to adjust how quickly it appears so I like to make them a little bit shorter and you can also drag the transition to control over which clip it appears more and you simply have to repeat it on the other side so drag the transition in adjust the length and drag it so that it appears on the other clip Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and I gave you some ideas for your own wedding slideshows. If you're interested in any of the packs used in this video, they will be linked in the description below, so go ahead and check them out. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Filmstock channel so that you never miss any of our future uploads. And I'll see you on the next one.